works. So, um, let me just see if I can get some better resolution with lower light. Yeah, it works okay. Uh, so, the oldest species of the Kaminalicule fossil is this one here. It's number 73. And um, it is found, if you look at your pink sheet, there's a dark line down at the bottom. And the age of that is called the we rewind a scene. Rewind a scene. And you're going to put your ages out here. Um, and it looks like that's the oldest. The oldest one is at the bottom. And there's several layers within there, within here. Um, you're going to um, you're going to draw a dark line. Um, at the age cutoffs and um, lighter lines for the individual layers. So this guy, number 73, is really the ancestral species of all the other ones. The two that are above that, and notice that I color, you can't see it too well, but the color, I chose a dark pink for that, and then there's two species that evolve in the layer above. And those two species are 58 and 74. And I colored those green. And um, at this stage of the game, there's only one choice um, for this next layer. And the choice is that this species evolved into both of these. So that's, that's pretty easy at this point. Um, it gets a little bit more complex as you move up and evolutionary diversification happens. Evolutionary diversification is where you start with a small number of species and because the environment is changing, the creatures adapt and go into individual niches, as they're called, or homes, that separate them somehow from other species and competing with other species. And so what tends to happen is that creatures tend to diversify or get more complicated as you go up the evolutionary tree. So in the next layer, there's three species, 32, 37, and 52. Now notice I've colored these before I cut them out. It's a lot easier that way. These I could glue down. Let's just pretend that these are glued down. And by the way, I, I might want to stop this here or just indicate that this whole section here is the rewind a scene. If you drew lines all the way across your paper, that's okay. You could just put rewind a scene in a box and draw arrows up or something like that. It depends on how you laid it out. Before you glue these down in any particular order, you want to rearrange them based on, on how you, who you think they have evolved from. So it looks like, and what you want to do is you want to compare the body forms. So it looks like this one here has bulgy eyes and a little bit longer arms. Okay, bulgy eyes and a little bit longer arms. Um, so, this diamond looks the same in both of these. The foot is a little bigger on this one. The foot is smaller on this one. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to notice something here. I notice that these long arms match up with these long arms and these long arms, but they're short arms. 
Also, the bulgy eyes on this one match up with the bulgy eyes on this one and this one, and not on this one. So already I can see that um, I might want, I will want to rearrange these such that I'm going to put this one over here because he looks more short-armed and no eyes, and these two over here because they have longer arms and bulgy eyes. They, these two look very similar to each other. Um, bigger feet, or whatever that thing is. Smaller foot, like this one here, bigger feet, and bulgy eyes there, there, and there. Longer arms there, there, and there. So I think I've got it. Now, looking ahead, I don't know if this creature is going to evolve into a great diversity of other things, or go extinct. So I could move these interchangeably like this, um, but at this stage of the game, I don't, I'm not going to worry too much about that. One of them might go extinct, one of them might <coughs> diversify, they both might bloom out into a whole bunch of other species. I don't know yet. So now I got them in the order I want them, and I'm going to arrange them pretty evenly across here, so you just kind of spread them out. You don't want to put them all in one area, because you know it's going to it's going to fan out. Well, you assume it's going to fan out. Some of these will go extinct, by the way. So I'm going to, these are glued down. I'm going to draw lines. Remember, the lines cannot cross. Like, I couldn't have this one over here, like that, and this line going over there, and this line going over there. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to change this around like so, and I'm going to show that this one evolved like that. And then I can go ahead and glue those down, okay? And then I go on to the next layer, okay? There's several layers in there. That this isn't quite accurate, but that's pretty much how you do it. Is there any questions on that? Any questions?